Hey, good morning, it's Mr. Brown. Today we are going to get on Autodesk Inventor. So Autodesk Inventor is our CAD software, computer-aided design. It's just a fancy word for saying we're going to use a computer to do some engineering. A couple ways to get onto this bit of software right here. So on your desktop, you should see this little yellowish, orangish, it says I, and then Pro, it says Autodesk Inventor Professional 2025. That's the easiest way to get on it. Just double click that icon. If you don't see it on your desktop, go down to the start menu, go to all apps, and scroll down to Autodesk Inventor 2025. Now, it may be a different year listed, but Autodesk Inventor is what you want. You don't want Autodesk, you don't want AutoCAD, you want Autodesk Inventor. Click on that. Be careful, because there's a couple that look similar. We don't want Reset Utility, we don't want Read Only, we want Autodesk Inventor Professional 2025 English. So you're going to go ahead and double click on that. The very first time you open it, you may get something that says uh, something about license agreements. Just go ahead and hit I agree. That just means, hey, we paid for it, we're allowed to use this software. And then you will also probably get this screen right here that says, we care about your privacy. Now, we could spend an entire year talking about digital privacy. My recommendation is I would uncheck both of these boxes and hit OK. Um, this is basically the company saying, hey, can we use your information for whatever we need? Um, me personally, I don't want them to use my information for whatever they need, so I'm going to uncheck that stuff, hit OK. All right. From there, it should take you to the home page which looks like this all right so just a quick little recap either on the desktop autodesk inventor professional or start all apps autodesk inventor autodesk inventor professional 2025 all right